All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh alongside Ron Cook. And if you need a roof, make sure you call Ireland Contracting. 1-800-NEW-ROOF. They're the best in the business. They not only do roofs, they do gutters, they do siding, they do windows. They do anything you need. That's why they are number one in Pittsburgh. Ireland Contracting, 1-800-NEW-ROOF. Give us a call right now at 412-575-2600 on the Bordas and Bordas hotline. We're going to talk about a couple of things this segment. One of them, the Steelers. bunch of injuries today. None of them look serious. Uh, the good news is they're, they're getting Morgan Burnett back in, uh, in, in, in pads. He's been able to practice for the first time. Not a lot, but, you know, Antonio Brown sat out today. Villanueva, a, a long list of guys. Washington. James Washington left yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, none of them seem major except Ramon Foster, and even his uh, a knee injury could have been a whole lot worse. But you just hate these guys to be missing this much time early on. Again, it is early. It's better now than later. But, man, they've had a run of injuries. And Villanueva, I mean, they're really thin at tackle after Hawkins went down. Uh, hopefully, though, he and Gilbert stay healthy because uh, I don't think they have much behind them. And the big news nationally, we were talking about it during the break, Urban Meyer uh, paid, put on paid leave. I don't know if this guy's going to coach at Ohio State ever again. It seems like he knew about um, domestic violence one of with coaches. one of his coaches, didn't report it, didn't kept fire him, staff, him kept yeah. him on the staff. Now, he was fired this summer, but, I mean, not years ago when he allegedly knew about this. He could very easily go down for this, no question. And what a story that would be. I mean, one of the... Great coaches in college football, certainly one of the highest paid. I, I read somewhere they owe him like $38 million if he's fired without cause and nothing if he's fired with cause. Well, this sounds like it could be with cause to me. Yeah, the school's doing an investigation right now, and they have text messages. I know he, he lied to the media last week and said he knew nothing about it. I don't know where you guys get this story. And then, uh, what is it, Brett McMurphy from CBS came out and said, uh, here's all the text messages that you and your wife knew about and exchanged with his wife. Uh, Zach Smith, I think, was the, the assistant coach that was in trouble, um, and his wife's name was Courtney Smith. So I guess they have evidence. So we're going to see what happens here. Uh, but it seems like that um, right at the you know right at the start for Ohio State football. But that's secondary to me, Ohio State football. If this guy condoned this stuff, he's got to go. Yeah, I agree 100% with that. Let's go out to Eric in Johnstown. How you doing, Eric? Hey, good guys. How are you doing? Uh, great show. Uh, uh, thanks for taking my call. No problem. Um, thanks for calling. Hey, after going through what we went through in this area with the Penn State scandal, uh, I just can't believe that Meyer is going to survive this at Ohio State. Again, we'll see what comes out with the details, what he knew, when he knew it. Um, but again, I mean, with what we've seen with the media frenzy, with the uh, mob mentality at Penn State, I just can't imagine he survives at Ohio State. And again, with the Me Too movement and all this brought forward now, uh, it's going to be uh, all eyes are going to be on it to say the Well, week. he shouldn't so. survive if these allegations are true. Uh, yeah, it's a big story. He's a big name coach. Ohio State is a uh, you know one of the top four or five programs in all of college football. Um, I, I'm I'm with you. I, I think he's in real trouble here. Yeah, he should be if it, if the allegations are true. Hundred percent, he should be fired. If he did know about this, if those text messages, uh, screenshots they have of him and his wife uh, texting back and forth with uh, the assistant's wife, if the, if they all knew and and that guy didn't get fired or something wasn't done back in 2015, uh, Urban Meyer should definitely get fired. I, I think he will, Ron. I, I, when you put someone on paid administrative leave like that's he is right now, step, right? that's the first step, and they're just figuring out how to do it legally, I guess. Um, all right, let's go back out to the phone lines. We're going to go out to Jack and Cranberry. How you doing, Jack? Hey, I'm doing well. Uh, sorry, I meant to hit the mute button there. Uh, caller before, caller the Penn State scandal. It was a Jerry Sandusky scandal. Let's get that right uh, if we can. It was the left-wing liberal media that blew it out. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. that, that's right, the left-wing liberal media. It was a Penn State scandal as well. They had guys up there pleading guilty to these charges against them. In, uh, well, the president of the university didn't plead guilty, but was found guilty. So don't try to justify it to left-wing media. Give me a break. Yeah, and, and you know, you're a Penn State guy, too. But what? Uh, no, the, I'm not the, a Penn State guy. Oh, you're not? Oh, uh, well, I thought you, I thought you like, grew no. up a Penn State fan. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I grew up that. around here. I knew I that. I went to Northwestern. I knew you went to I'm Northwestern. I'm not a Penn State guy. Okay, sorry. I'm not a Pitt. <laughs> well, it, it is, yeah. that's an offensive remark to me because I'm not a Penn State guy. I'm not a Pitt guy. I'm not a West Virginia guy. 
I just follow them and cover them like I see them, but I'm not a Penn State okay, guy. Okay, I didn't mean so. to offend you. Well, you did with okay, that one. Sorry. That's okay, sorry. I'm sorry for offending you. Uh, for some reason, I thought that, that, that you grew up a Penn State fan, but I'm sorry. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, the, it is a Penn State thing, like you said. The president knew about it. The athletic director knew about it. There was kind of a cover-up. Uh, maybe it wasn't a coaching staff thing, but th- there were pieces in the, the school that knew about it besides Jerry Sandusky. Well, it seems like there might be a lot more proof in this Ohio State case. We'll see. All right, back out to the phone lines. Let's go out to Mitty in McCandless. How you doing, Mitty? Hey, Rich. Thanks for I calling. I wanted to say uh, you've been doing a great job since you ever replaced Story. Oh, no, thank it's been you. Been a while, but hey, <laughs> question for you two guys is: I wouldn't have made more sense for the Pirates just to keep Gary Cole at the beginning of the year than to trade off three players for another quality. No, it, it wouldn't have made That's sense because he's going to be a free agent after next year. He wanted out of here. He wasn't happy here. I think it impacted his performance here, and I don't know that he would be as good here as he was as he's turned out to be in Houston. So uh, I think they made the move they had to make with him. Uh, they got some decent return for, for him. Now you, you got another pitcher coming in that maybe be able to replace him. I don't think Archer's going to be as good as Garrett Cole is in Houston, but he might be better than anything they have right now. Plus they have him for three more years at a much more decent price. I mean, looking at it all right now, Ron, I mean, I think all the trades that they made uh, were good for the Pirates. Uh, and when you look at every one of them, uh, they seem to have worked out in the Pirates, the Pirates' way. We don't know what's going to happen with Chris Archer yet or um, Keone Kella, hey, Glass you think now, that they're good Glass ones. Glassnow and Meadows may go on to become stars, but I still think it was a move the Pirates had to make, and I give them a lot of credit for doing it because it's not in Huntington's uh, his style to make those kind of trades, giving up prospects, and I think his players forced him into this by playing some really good baseball. All right, we're taking more of your phone calls. Coming up next, 412-575-2600 is the number. Give us a call. We'll be back in a couple minutes.